Welcome, welcome, welcome. Have a seat. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Welcome to Ari London's classroom. Today's lesson is going to be on security. And in order to teach my lesson on security, I'm going to discuss the very real differences between a location such as UN headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland, and Mar-a-Lago Social Club in Palm Beach, Florida, the 90210 of the East Coast. The difference between UN headquarters in Geneva, Switzerland, and Mar-a-Lago Social Club in Palm Beach, Florida, the 90210 of the East Coast, is as follows. In order to get into the headquarters of the United Nations, you must tell the United Nations months, definitely weeks at least, but months in advance that you're arriving. And in order to arrive, you need to submit documents, identification documents, um, you know, anything they need to know as to the who, what, when, where, and why you will be on the premises. They need to plan the day accordingly. They need to make sure everyone is safe. You need to be vetted. And then they say, bing, security clearance and background check has passed. You have been vetted and we welcome you onto our premises. When you arrive, first you obviously like, whoa, so many flags. You um, take a picture, <laughs> snap, um, you take a picture and then you walk in past your first checkpoint, really. Uh, your second checkpoint, if you think about it, but your first checkpoint on the premises, you walk past the fence, you get past security. Then you walk up to the building. Once you get to the building, you walk in, and then you see pretty much kind of like what you see at TSA in the States, like, um, you know, airport security. You see a, con you know, a belt, like a conveyor belt, like you got to anything you bring in a bag definitely needs to be scanned. And you also, you yourself, walk through a metal detector. There's lots of security, ample security, in fact. And the place is pretty much like Fort Knox, right? Like you can't just walk in and be like, Antonio Guterres, I want to speak at the General Assembly today. You can't do that. Um, but at Mar-a-Lago, you can literally walk in like this and this gets you in. They get you in. Nuclear information and classified documents are not supposed to be at a resort in Palm Beach, Florida, the 90210 of the East Coast. They're just not supposed to be there. Security means, the reason why it's so difficult, or, or not difficult because it wasn't hard to get in, it's just you gotta do things, right? The reason why in order to go to the United Nations these things have to be done prior to your arrival is like, well, first of all, you wanna book a flight to Geneva and unless you wanna go and see a really dope lake and hug a lot of really dope trees and spend a lot of money if you got it, but that's not why I was there, I was on a student budget. But, you know, like, if you're going to do something like that in life, you do, you need, there's preparations that need to take place. There's security measures that need to take in place. But to go to Mar-a-Lago, Florida, Palm Beach, the social club, Trump's place, Ralph from The Simpson, who somehow got away with being president of the United States for a full term, four years, bro, after Barack Obama, that's embarrassing, um... Yo, you can't, like, basically Trump did the equivalent of this. If I had gone to the United Nations, right? Um, if I had gone and been, like, uh, taking my flashlight on my iPhone. da 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 Okay, group, enjoy your muffin in the cafeteria. I'm just gonna break into this room with these classified documents. If I had done that, there would have been, I would have been, like, huh, you know, like, and then, you know, they'd be like, ha, huh, and I'd be like, Ta -da! And I tried my best Austin Power moves, and they'd be like, okay, leave. You know, and I wouldn't be ever, I wouldn't be invited back. It just wouldn't happen. But, you know, do that shit at Mar a Lago, and you got yourself a party. Party, hey, hey. We like to party, we like to party. Mar a Lago. This is literally acceptable behavior. At Mar-a-Lago, you cannot do this at the United Nations. They'll say, see you later, homie. But at Mar-a-Lago, it's all good. That's the difference.